All right, welcome back to Tactical Fundraising Action 3. We've got Silent here. Silent Hill, there we go. Just because I don't play the game doesn't mean I should say it wrong. Um, <laughs> with Couchman slash Casino Coin. And on commentary, we got Enderion. So I'm going to let you Hello. folks take it away. Just uh, right. give me a countdown when you're ready. All right. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it should you should do the countdown, I, I believe. Uh, All right. uh, so but uh, uh, yeah, you should select the right save file here. Yeah. Next fear. All right. Uh, start on uh, one, uh, five, four, three, two, one. All right. I have a little bit of a delay, but it should be fine. Uh, so yeah, this is Silent Hill. Uh, Couchman is going to start from next year already. Uh, this is a new game plus um, category. This is a UFO category. So uh, right off the bat, he's going to equip the handgun. Uh, I also I believe I have to change the blood color to violet. Oh yeah, okay. I uh, yeah. There was a, a bid war for this. Yeah. You know. Yep. It is Violet at winning at ten dollars. Oh, okay. Nice. <laughs> Violet usually gives me bad luck, but yeah. So he's going to pick up the items in the cafe. He needs to pick up all the items but the health drinks. He can also pick up the the health items as well. It's all right, especially if you're playing your normal. Uh, I would recommend it. To make sure uh, I'm safe here. And he's gonna face the first enemy in the game. It's called Air Screamer. This is the cutscene that introduces that? him, introduces us to the radio. Huh. Radio. And uh, this little on? guy has random health. Uh, he can die in uh, random amount of shots. Like in normal, you're usually gonna see five or six. Uh, yeah, I got five. Five is what you usually get like a normal one. Um, I hope my commentary is not too delayed, but What's happening to this place? yeah, then you have to pick up the radio and be a lot of the cafe. Um, and I was going to pick up the channeling stone. Uh, so this is UFO ending and the channeling stone is required for this ending. He's going to go to the convenience store and pick it up. Uh, this item is available after you do the get plus ending. So you do the best ending in the game, and then you are rewarded with an item that gives you access to to a secret ending. So, and he's going to use this channeling stone in five different places throughout the game. If I got a donation, if the now is okay. Oh yeah, yeah for sure. All right, uh, we have a $20 donation from the Tonic Guy uh, with the comment of Write You Heart. How sweet. Thank you for the $20. Thank you for the support. Nice. Um, we still have the bid war going on for the Metal Gear Solid PC ending. Otacon is still sitting at $230, and Murrow is still steady, sitting steady at $325. So if you want to make a difference, get those bids in now. All right. So he picked up the first key. Um, this is one of the three keys that he's going to pick up um, to open a certain house in Levin Street. So if you play the game, you know that you have to, uh, well, we don't have to, but you're guided to uh, go to the alleyway and then uh, the alleyway directs you to the school and then you cannot find a way to the school. And then like there's a piece of paper on the ground uh, saying the doghouse Levin Street, and then you check the doghouse and you open the key, you get the key to open a house uh, right next to it. And in this house, you, you've got uh, in, on the wall, you've got like a map pointing to the locations of those keys. But those keys are already spawned on the map, so you don't have to do any of that. You can just straight up pick up the keys and do like open the house afterwards. Um, 
you know, it's pretty straightforward. There's not that much going on. Uh, because he's playing normal, and I think I should say uh, the reason why he's playing normal. He's playing normal uh, because it, it's, again, a new game plus run. And in new game plus, you can only play on a normal or hard. Uh, every time you play the game on a new game plus file, uh, or every time you beat the game, rather, the difficulty is going to bump by one. So if you play the game on easy in your first playthrough, next going to be normal. And then the next one's gonna be on hard. Um, hard being the hardest difficulty in the game. You can potentially run UFO on normal or hard, uh, but usually do it on normal. It's much better. Uh, hard is like potentially faster, but normal is what you should do. Normal is much more consistent. And yeah, hard's just bad. <laughs> but uh, we. we uh, uh, you can get the laser blaster, but... Yeah, so the reason why we would try to do one hard is because he would use the Hyper Blaster, which is an infinite laser weapon, which is, by the way, the reward for doing the UFO ending. Um, we thought that was faster, and it potentially is, but that weapon has a random damage, so it's not that consistent. So yeah, he has to check this Hog House 11th Street sign. Oh, it's not a sign, it's just papers on the ground, but you get the idea. Uh, if he doesn't do that, Harry's not going to uh, pick up the key right here in the Dog House. I think I don't, I'm not delayed anymore, so that's good. Oh, he opens... Do you want to explain self-view? Oh yeah, self-view, okay. So, yeah, those are the three locks that I was talking about. And he's using self-view as well. And bullet adjust. Th those are two, like, uh, New Game Plus features as well. Which are only allowed in New Game Plus runs. So, UFO and other categories. Uh, 10 star. <laughs> uh, that, that category is uh, horrible. But, yeah, self-view makes... This is self-view right now. Is he using? Makes us... <laughs> the game much better it also improves the frame rate a little bit a little bit and uh right now it's, it has gone dark so uh he's turning off the flashlight to avoid a few enemies mostly the air screamers that bird from the cafe um that he killed and we are gonna he's only gonna kill four enemies in the entire game um for ufo two bosses and the air screamer and the nurse Unless he's not doing out of bounds, uh, which I am assuming you are. You are, right? Uh, yeah, I am doing out of bounds. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. probably, probably also going to kill the uh, one clicker in the sewers. Oh, okay. You can you can kill that. Yeah, I, I forgot about that one. Me, so other than that, though, I, I think that's it. Yeah. Like, you don't necessarily have to kill it, but you, you might as well do it. I think you actually do kill it in normal. Like, it just takes one shot, usually. So yeah, we're at the school already. Good job. Don't pretty good. So, uh, in the school here, we're gonna have the enemies that were not introduced uh, because he's doing New Game Plus. So, usually in New Game, they are introduced like in a nightmare, but they are properly introduced in the school. Oh, nice. Dodge that one. Um, He's doing it entirely in the dark to dodge those uh, little kids, those enemies that I'm talking about. They're called the Mumblers. And uh, yeah, the, they have... The US version, they're called uh, Grey Children. No, it, it, it's a confusion. Uh, in the US version, they are... Uh, it, it's just a major confusion. Like, the ones that the, you got in the European release, uh, release are actually called Clawfingers. Claw this is just a uh, confusion with the names. It doesn't really matter. You can call them great children or mumblers, but I do believe mumblers is the correct uh, is the correct name. But okay. it doesn't really matter. I so yeah, I... those enemies. Oh, but yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Yeah. So those enemies, they have two attacks: a knife attack and a grab attack. And the grab attack range is pretty unfair, <laughs> I should say. So. So far, no grabs, which is really good. Each grab should lose you around two to three seconds. It should work. Yeah. So, the objective of the school is uh, to complete those. Oh, I don't go for this, dude. 
<laughs> well, okay, good job. That, that's good. That, that was really risky, though. But yeah, you you want to take take those two medallions, um, and the first was the golden medallion which he put in the clock tower. All you have to really do there is to use the chemical in the in the stone hand, and now he's going to do the infamous piano puzzle. Which, if we play the game, you know we all remember this puzzle. This is absolutely horrible. It's the hardest puzzle in the game. Nice. Uh, for the speed run, it's pretty easy. Uh, it's all it's the same solution every time. But I'm gonna get grabbed. Oh, I forgot to turn you, my oh, on damn it. For, uh, exiting through, so, uh, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's very common to get grabbed in the school. Yeah, okay. This guy. This guy is on the way. It's terrible. But yeah, two grabs there. The, the piano puzzle, um, I, I fail it sometimes. Oh, that's Yolo strats. Oh damn. Um, maybe it would be worth it to check the health right now while uh, using the item. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. It's just one hog. So yeah. <laughs> So he's gonna uh, he, he just put the silver medallion in the clock tower and now he's going to turn off uh, sorry turn on the boiler and then unlocks that clock tower door there's a door there and gonna go through to go to the second school to the other ones. So yeah he's doing a lot of self view I, I usually am not used to to do that so much. I like it a lot. I'll be honest. Yeah, it makes the game much, much better. That's why it's not allowed on like new game easy. Alright. Well you unlock it for it's a new game plus only feature. Yeah. So you can only use it like I said, like you can only use it in the UFO and 10 star and like other new game plus category. So yeah. And right now he's got to the uh other world school, which Uneasy is much easier than the first school. On normal is also easier. Uh, if you're gonna go for like more advanced kind of strats uh, for a more like optimal route, normal can be a little sketchy in some rooms. Uh, on hard, well, we're not playing on hard, so it doesn't really matter. But there are some rooms that are absolutely terrible. Uh, this one is okay-ish. Yeah, okay, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good safe strat going around the kid there. Oops. The door. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> it's okay. So he's gonna put the picture card that he uh, got in the classroom there. I think it's a classroom. I don't know. And now he's going to take the shotgun. It's the only weapon in the game besides the handgun that you actually pick up. And he's going to use the shotgun for the remainder of the game. We get this nice little cutscene. I've seen this cutscene so much that it doesn't even scare me anymore. <laughs> uh. But yeah, he's going to... This room can also be tricky. Normal. You have, a, you have an extra enemy there to the right, so... So that was a pretty good safe strat to avoid them. Nice little phone can scene, and then he's gonna pick up the rubber ball. And I am not sure if you're gonna go to the roof first, or if you're gonna go to the locker first. Uh, I usually go to the roof first. Oh, okay, so the same as I do. Alright. I like doing that. So he's going to use this rubber ball on the roof, and the roof of the school we're actually going to see the first UFO. Um, yeah, it's the first location out of the five. Did I say it? Uh, did I say that you have to use the channeling stone like five times in the game? Uh, well, well I'm saying it now then. <laughs> yeah. 
So yeah, it's going to do the Valve Puzzle first. Uh, it's also going to equip the shotgun here. Or, or I do it after. <laughs> I do. I usually do it after the. Uh... Before split head. Yes, definitely before split head. You can do it right now, like uh, after, like while equipping the uh, using the channeling stone. It's pretty good. You're doing one menu, but yeah. Um, he's going. Yes. Yes, I was gonna say that. Yeah, for sure. Uh, this isn't a strategy that was even used in Ten Star. It's small optimization for that. Yeah, this is the first UFO cutscene. Uh, these cutscenes are unskippable. Yes. For whatever reason. Um, like uh, most cutscenes that you are using, like an item, a key item, like for example, this valve cutscene. Well, you're not really using an item, but you're turning the valve. You're doing an action. Uh, or the one in the hospital where you are uh, burning the um, burning the vines in your way. So yeah, exactly. Those cutscenes are usually unskippable uh, whenever you're performing an action or collect the key that I washed down the drain. Exactly. Yeah. So the key just went down the drain with uh, doing the little. Little, uh, little puzzle ish thing. Now he's gonna go back to the second floor. And. Yeah, those cutscenes are unskippable, but it doesn't really matter too much because the IGT is not taking them any cutscenes at all. This room was a little, little sketchy. But yeah, that was well done. That was really nice. It was a good strat. And. Yeah, don't worry about it. There are particular lines you can take for most of the rooms that allow you to dodge. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you can do like the optimal line, which is usually the one that you are more prone to. Oh, and by the way, this is a jump scare. Yeah. This is where you pick up the second key that you need to have access to the first boss of the game. Um. And yeah, there are certain lines that you can do that are more optimal, but they are also more risky. A little bit of risk reward. And there are safer lines, but they're usually usually unoptimal. Yeah, this room. Oh yeah. That was that was nice. I like the, the YOLO line. I, I would do that as well. That's pretty good. You got grabbed, but that's not a big deal. So yeah, he's he's making his way to the first boss of the game, Ooh. which is Bloodhead, and this is one of like one of the two places where you can get one hit KO, but he's not gonna he's not gonna die there. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, that's a good idea. There are plenty, plenty of health drinks to pick up throughout the run. But yeah, he's making his way to the basement of the school. And uh, he's going to do the follow puzzle. Oh, this room is... I'm actually going to pick up some extra items here. Uh, this is for out of bounds. Uh, the ample? Oh, okay. That makes sense. And some extra ammo. I don't have to live to just six, so I'm just going to pick up a little bit extra ammo. For sure, no problem. You could, have pick up, you could have picked it up in the hospital, but that's okay. So this valve was, uh, this room is actually one of the hardest rooms in the in the game to do it optimally. Uh, this puzzle, you turn the right valve two times to the left, and the left valve one time to the right. Oh, did you turn to the left? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. Uh... I'll turn this way to the right. It's okay because you're not losing IGT. You're not losing IGT from this. Uh, this cutscene, the IGT is not ticking. I actually messed this up today, dude, in one of my runs. That was pretty bad. Max. Oh, yeah. Smash, dude. So, yeah, yeah. So, this is a split head fight. 
This is pretty simple. He's gonna shoot him, uh, shoot Spoil Head three times in the head and two times inside of the mouth. You shoot it three times in the head to get to second phase, and then the second phase he opens his mouth. And all you gotta do is, um, is shoot two eyes. And this is where you can get one hit kill. You die instantly. You die instantly. And uh, there is actually a very, very advanced strat that you can potentially do a UFO to get one shot in the mouth of Split Head. So the way Split Head works. That's right, the 12, uh, the 12 shot or something. Oh, yeah, you know that one? That's pretty good. Uh, you can potentially do a new game easy, but. It's pretty much Taz only. It's pretty much Taz only. But uh, since you have both just in UFO and you're also not killing the, like, the final boss, uh, the last enemy that you kill is is the lizard sewer. Um, you you can potentially do in UFO where the way this boss works. Oh yeah, and by the way, he's making his way out of the school. He's going to the church right now. Um, Blood was changed to. Uh, still fetch. Yeah. Sorry, just looking in the chat there. Uh... So yeah, yeah he's. I'm just, I'm just yeah, go on. Oh yeah. All right. So uh, he's yeah he's making it the way to he's making his way to the school because um that's the next place to go and he's going to pick up a couple items there as well. Um, but yeah, the way this play had boss fight works is uh. The boss has actually only eight points of health, while other enemies have like two, three, four hundred, some six hundred. That boss has eight points of health, but it reduces like the damage that he takes is reduced by like a thousand or more. So like the the, the shotgun does around six hundred damage, six hundred forty damage at, at maximum, like close range. Um, but to split head, this the shotgun does zero point one twenty something points of damage. Um, so when you're shooting the body, but when you shoot the mouth, it actually deals uh, four points of hell of damage, uh, four out of the eight points of hell of damage that he has. And yeah, you can you can kill it in in two shots in the mouth there. That's an easy and normal. But hard his health is different. But uh, he has he has damage reduction. It, it, I, I guess it's what, it was just easier to program that way. I don't know, rather than giving him like. Crazy amounts of that of health. Oh yeah, they are just terrible. I hate them. They are the worst enemies in the game. I, I think. I think I'm gonna need to heal. I have an opportunity coming up to do that. Yes, for sure. So here's the church, and there's a cutscene here with Dahlia. You're gonna skip the gyromancy? Yeah, it was predicted by gyromancy as well. Oh, okay. Says, but, uh... <laughs> so yeah, two very important items Were you to progress through the game. The flowers that does nothing, and the drawbridge control room, which is gonna use very soon. Oh hey Jesus, yeah. <laughs> and is there anything else I should talk about? Uh, the bridge room, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so coming up is the drawbridge control room. It's considered by many people the hardest room in the game. Um, I am not sure if you're gonna go for the for the strat that we, we do. But there is a, a strat there to pick up the control panel right away. That one is really, really hard. Uh, you can also go for like run to the health drink and pick it up and then strafe to the right. That's also really good. Uh, well, I'm gonna try to go to the control panel. Okay. And it didn't work. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. A little bit to the right. There's my key. Oh, wait. It actually did work. Oh, uh, yeah. I, 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 I walked at the end there, which is a little Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Because you can run all the way, but. Yeah. <laughs> It's all good, it's all good. So right now he's lowered the bridge. Lowered the bridge. And he's making his way to the hospital because the woman in the church uh, 
you know, told him to. So yeah, I'm gonna go to the hospital. Also, it's a Silent Hill game, so it has to have a hospital. That's kind of mandatory. It, it's also ha it also has to have a sewer because it's a horror game. I'm gonna get to that. But yeah. The story, the story in this game is really confusing uh, to begin with, but it's even more confusing when you don't get to see any of the cutscenes. <laughs> yeah. uh, so you can pretty much sum up the story uh, with Harry's uh, line that he keeps saying all the time. Uh, what's, what's going this? on here? Yeah. What's what's this? Is pretty much the whole story. Harry uh, sees a bunch of stuff, crazy stuff happen, and uh, and uh, that's about it. That's that's pretty much the story. Crazy stuff happens, and uh, and then it's over suddenly. Yeah. So now he's just met Doctor Kaufman, and that's all we're gonna see for him. No more Kaufman. He's gonna be gone. And now the start of the hospital and those first rooms here are actually pretty hard uh to do it properly especially this next uh like conference room here it's really hard to do this optimally um it, this room is incredibly awkward and there's also another awkward rooms that we're not gonna see um because he's doing the ufo ending so he, like in new game easy he would save Sybil uh because that's faster but in UFO, you don't get to see Sybil at the end of the game. The game ends before it. So you're not going to pick up the bottle and then the unknown liquid to save Sybil. Uh, we're just going to run past it. And then uh, he just turned on the generator to have access to the, the elevators. Otherwise, the elevators are not working. So, And I, I find this like little section here with the elevators and checking the doors he has to check the door on the second and the third uh the second and the third floor and i found i find the sections really hard but it has to do that because uh, then there's a fourth floor comes up out of nowhere Ooh, spooky and um uh, the movement for the elevators uh is terrible kind of difficult Yes, this for it me. Might, uh, oh. It might not look that hard, but uh, actually getting Harry to turn and look yeah. at the elevator the right way is, is not easy. And do it fast as well. Uh, yeah, this is actually the hardest part of the hospital for me. And I, um, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, jump scare coming up! By the way. Jump scare coming up. On the way out of this room. So yeah, he's picking up those little soap pieces. Uh, it might be quiet actually on the, on the screen, so maybe it's not such a problem. Yeah. And also a blood pack in this room. So he's going to do a puzzle uh, to unlock a certain door and he needs four pieces of the puzzle. And Okay. Oh, no problem. I, I really don't want to get it. This is R and Jim and Ip right there. Those enemies are actually set in the frame counter, their position. So whenever frame you open the door, that determines, determines which position they're going to be. Not only those enemies, but every enemy in the game. And that's also true for health of some enemies as well. There, right outside the door, can either block you uh, on the way in or on the way out. You can get memed on, and she'll grab you. On the yeah, way that's a absolutely awful meme. That's happened to me so many times. It's quite rare, actually, but it's horrible when it happens. It's just absolutely terrible. So I just made sure that she didn't get me on the way in, but. Uh... On the way out, there's nothing you can do. Sometimes she'll just grab you. Yeah, there's nothing you can do. And yeah, he, he collected on the first floor the second piece of the puzzle, Blade of Queen. And now he's going to pick up another key item here. The lighter. I'm gonna get to it later. Avoid the nurse. Now he's going to use a blood pack. 
to pick up the last piece of the puzzle. Okay, this is actually, not gonna work. You actually have to step to take a couple steps forward. But you you have to step a frame device. forward. It can be like a frame or two. If you're <laughs> stepping a frame of two forward, it's enough. I'm not even kidding. That's a very gigantic hitbox. For that exactly. Event. The hitbox in this game are so weird. Some of them are very, very generous. Some of them are miserably, miserably small. Especially some item pickups. You don't see it here, but for 10 star and if you're gonna mean 100% item completion, horrible. Oh yeah, this puzzle is pretty easy. The puzzles in this game, the solution is the same every time. It's not like Silent Hill 2 or 3. Um, so all we have to do is put the, the, um, the plates in the corresponding order or well, corresponding hole. Yeah? yeah now, now, I don't know if I, I can't see my own stream, but... Uh, yeah, you're gonna make your way to the nurse, Skip. Uh, if I, if, if my stream, oh god, well... I can see your stream. No, no, I, if my stream does cut out very briefly, uh, it's because this game has two resolutions oh! runs that. Yes. Uh, and so my capture card, when it switches between resolutions in the menu, my capture card may crap out for a second. Yeah. Uh, it has to catch up. But it did not do that at any time uh, so far. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Are you using Elgato? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Elgato does that. Uh, hello. Thanks. Oh, that's a meme. Uh, I hate when that happens. Sometimes she will block you and there's nothing you can do as well. Yeah, now it's gonna make... Oh, you're gonna say something? Uh, just last moment when uh, the Elgato can... Uh, crap out is gonna be coming up when I set fire to these vines. Oh, okay. Because it's two menu inputs. Okay. Other than that, that's it. So yeah, right now he's going to go to the basement's basement, the secret basement uh, of the hospital. And to do that, he has to uh, burn the vines here. Well, first off, he's gonna pour the alcohol, and then he's gonna light it up. And that clear, clean, uh, clears the route. Oh, uh, so far there's nothing going on. Right, well, yeah. if, if we survive through that, then, it, then it's good. good. Yeah, all right, yeah. It'd be good for the rest of the ride. For sure. Um. So yeah, the the objective here is just to pick up a key at the end of the next hallway. And there are a few nurses to avoid, but nothing nothing crazy going on. All he has to do here is turn to the right left, just like that, um, in order to What's not this? look at Alessa's portrait. Uh, those hitboxes, they overlap Alessa's portrait and the key. So you can actually very easily, if you don't look to the, to the left, you can very easily look up to Alessa's portrait and that's actually happened in a world record run. Not kidding. I nowhere at the in another part of the game. So yeah, that can happen. Uh, so many memes happen in world record runs. It's just horrible. But he's always uh, almost to to the end of the hospital. He just needs to get through this doctor here. I'm just gonna walk around him. Oh, okay, no problem. Yeah, I, this is a horrible pattern. It's a good thing that he walked around him, because otherwise he would have get blocked. I did get blocked today in one of my runs, and actually lost my PB because of that. Yeah, that doctor can often block you. Sometimes he can slip by him, but uh... yes, you can just push him and go make your way through the door. But uh, a lot of the times he'll block, and there's nothing you can do. Was I dreaming? Oh, there's something helpful there, Harry. Pick up the key. So yeah, he picks up the antique shop key and shout outs to Lisa. <laughs> shout outs to Lisa. Never gonna see her again. I think. Uh, we see her one more time. Anytime yeah, time one more skip. time. Yeah. So okay, coming up is the out of bounds. It's an infamous, infamous, infamous out of bounds. So I'm gonna, I'm this... gonna give this a few tries. If it doesn't work, 
uh, within. I, I don't know how long I should give it, but not too long. It doesn't work I think a short amount of time. I'm just gonna load a save because uh, I did practice this, hmm. but uh, it, it's a finicky trick, and sometimes it just doesn't work. So. Yeah, I think you should like just use the ample before it, and you should be fine with damage because the ample will give you health regen. So you, you don't have yeah. to worry about loading a save file. Um, oh, no, no, I mean like, I'm, like because it, it, it consumes a lot of time to just fail it over and over again. So. Oh, okay. You're gonna lo uh, load a save file afterwards. I'll, I'll load a save file if it if it starts taking too long. Yeah, I think you should you should like try at least ten times, I would say, because even if you're trying ten times, even if you fail it ten times, it's not as slower as like going for twin filler at all. I know you're not gonna gonna go for twin filler, but yeah. This trick is absolutely horrible. Um it's the biggest run killer in the game for pretty much every single runner. Um you, you can get good at this trick, you can get consistent, but your consistent can go as high as a coin flip. I'm not exaggerating. Um the best runners in this game can get like 50 to 60 percent consistency tops on practice sections it, it it is a really inconsistent trick there's rng to it so i'm just gonna shut up and let him do it uh, i'm just but gonna check my health beforehand to make sure i'm not it's good I think I will. if you fail about five times you should heal though I have my own setup for this uh, that's not really good, but okay, nice. That's a good setup. Uh, it's just, uh, I have a, cause it's, it's, the position is very exact, so. Yeah, just, just, just hold up while, while doing this, when he is about to catch you. I question think you should leave at the room. Yeah. The question is, will he do it? Because uh, this guy's position is, uh, when he spawns in, is RNG, so he he may not actually be looking at me, and if he isn't, then I can't uh, get him to actually... Yeah. Yeah, he's not interested. So what, what we're doing here is, uh, essentially, not I'm, I'm, getting, uh, I'm getting the enemy to push me into the loading zone while I'm flat on the ground. I think he, I don't think he's paying attention. Uh, no, he's not aggroed. Do two steps to getting out of the... Okay. And, okay, well, he might come back. Uh, oh, man. So, oh, that was close. This can happen too. Uh, yeah, I can get knocked on the ground, but not right. transition. Oh. Yeah. If I if I don't transition through when I get knocked on the ground, uh, it doesn't work. If I get transitioned too early, it's not looking. It messes up your hitbox, and you have to reset Harry's hitbox by going through the door. Hello. And he's stuck on the wall. That can happen as well. There are several things that can go wrong. Uh, you know, ideally, nothing goes wrong, but... Yeah. I think he's... Ideally, should... Uh, he's out uh... there. <laughs> he is. I think you should get this first try. Oh! Mm, oh, that was, that was not it. That was not So I have to exit. Yeah. This trick is incredibly, incredibly inconsistent, uh, especially some setups are pretty finicky, I guess. I don't like, yeah, so I don't like running further out too much because I often will get stuck on. Oh uh, yeah, but if you run further out, you have to time your quick turn. Uh, But that that would be more consistent if you like time your quick turn with his jump. It's hard to explain though. Like... Okay, buddy. Wow. Yeah, he just gets stuck like that. 
There you go. This is a good timing. Oh. Well, and then he does this. I, I'm not sure yeah. why he does that, but. Uh, he does that because your position relative to his position is not good enough for him to jump at you. Uh, yeah. So, it's not going well. This should. Yeah. Uh. Oh. Oh. Oh! Oh, there you go! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, yeah, he's got it. Okay. It happened. That's good. That's good. You didn't have to. Uh, I don't think your health is bad either. So all he has to do now is run, run forward. That's all there is to it. Uh, so <laughs> he's got the trick. Got me by surprise as well. Um, and the way that trick works. And by the way, he's gonna land on the roof here. Oh. There, this roof where you fight Float Stinger. Yeah, good job. And yeah, the, the romper pushes you through the scenario transition in a specific timing. And you know that you got it if you, he does the little crunch crunch sound. I, I don't know. The munching sound of Harry. Kind of biting Harry, hitting Harry, whatever. Last time we saw Lisa. Oh, last time we saw Lisa. Yeah, goodbye, Lisa. Uh, I'm just going to check my health to make sure. Yeah, that's a good idea. You can I, also use the ample here. Yeah, I, think, I, think I'll, I think I'll just use the ample. Yes, that's a really good idea. Lisa not gonna die? I guess not. I don't think she. Yeah, I don't think she dies in this ending. So second so. UFO. Oh yeah, I would definitely forget. <laughs> I'm. I. It's been a while since I ran the UFO. So. This is the second UFO. You use it right after, right after the hospital, before the focusing. The only chance to do this, uh, if you miss this, yes. you can't come back here, so you really don't want to miss it. Yeah, right, so and I, I would totally miss it, so I'm not used to this. But Fort Singer is an interesting boss, you see him uh, put in some space between his shots. And for a long time, people thought this boss had invincibility frames, but this boss has actually damage reduction. Um, the damage reduction comes for around three seconds IGT, where the boss is taking a little bit less and less and less uh, damage. If you keep firing the shotgun shots, uh, he's going to take much, much less damage. While if you space your shots, he's going to take more damage. Um, so the way that's that's the fight right there. It's a pretty easy fight, even a normal. Uh, it's a little sketchy on hard, but you have to wait three seconds IGT to potentially kill it with last shots. But the way he does here is as optimal as it, it gets for a human. Um, it's really hard to do it perfectly in humans. Pr probably impossible. So we don't wait for three seconds. We just. Um, wait for the blood spatters to to worn out or do two strafe uh, steps and that's a good timing as well you should be killing it between 12 or 14 shots easy and normal is the same health so the fight's pretty much the same thing and yeah the maximum amount of damage that you can do to it is 500 and that's like spacing your shots between three seconds each around three seconds so yeah that's their that's their fight and now he's gonna make his way to the sewers. This this category only has one sewer. Thank uh, God usual. For it. Oi? Thank thank God, there's only one sewer. <laughs> that, that, the second sewer is really really easy. So it's pretty straightforward. But the first sewer know, is but... much harder. He's gonna break this lock with a shotgun and make his way into it. And in the sewers, you are introduced to the hanged scratchers, the lizard enemies, and they are quite a pain. Um, they do a lot of damage, and especially on hard and normal as well. And they are very aggressive. They are blocking your path. And similar to the hospital, if an enemy is blocking your path, you don't really have much to go because of how tight the hallways are right now. 
didn't it's actually got really good RNG here. Oh, yeah. it didn't even spawn that time. That that. Long uh, long. yeah, I think it did spawn, but you didn't. Oh, okay. The second one didn't. So yeah, the second lizard that usually is there on easy sometimes doesn't spawn on hard in normal. Most of the times it doesn't spawn. Spawn. I have no idea why. Oh no, no, I know why he doesn't. Uh, he doesn't spawn because there's a second lizard to your right, right after you enter the first hallway. Uh, so I guess when there are like an extra enemy, I guess the game just doesn't load the, the other enemy. I don't know how it works, but... On easy, there's a second lizard and he's usually the one that blocks you on the way out. There's a hanging lizard right now, but he never gets you. He just tries. He tries his best though. And here, there's going to be a little guy. Yeah, that's the bad RNG. There's not much you can do about it if you get that, this, this pattern. And it's going to go around this one. Okay, I think I'm oh. just going to kill them. Yeah, okay, just deal with them. I should still oh, okay. So I'm okay. Yes, you're okay. You don't need to worry about your health. So. Yeah, no problem. I understand. That's probably the best course of action. Ideally, you would like to just go around the lizard and shoot the second one once. You don't have to kill even the second one. You can kill it, but you don't have to. But yeah, that's also that's also a way of dealing with those guys. And now this part of the sewer is a little bit more straightforward. No enemies blocking you really. Uh, although those doors are a little, they're very problematic. It's very easy to hit the doors with your head um, and lose time there. Those doors are, they have some weird hitboxes to work with. Uh, opening doors in this game is very weird. You have to angle yourself a little bit to open them, like a 45-ish degree angle. Uh, so yeah, he hit the door there, but he also opened it. Certain frames you can open the door like that. Um, it's not luck, but you have a better range of frames if you are angling yourself up. I think that's the explanation that I can give to you. Oh yeah, like that. It's very easy to that 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 door is very very easy to hit. And now he's gonna pick up the sewer exit key. And that spawns three lizards around you, and there's one more to the exit of this. There's a little bit of difference between easy and normal. That guy, you can just go around him like this. Yeah, this door as well again. And yeah, he's making his way out of the sewers. There's... there. There's only... Yeah, this hallway here. There's not too much going on here. It just has to make sure not to hit those doors. <laughs> it, it, it is like two, three seconds, a minor time loss. And those gate, this gatekeeper here can be a little problematic as well. And that's the sewers. Right, now we're gonna. Slide. Oh yeah, sure. Go ahead. All right, we don't have any donations right now, but I would like to remind everyone we are coming up on the Metal Gear Solid 1 run. That is to determine whether we'll be saving Meryl or Otacon. Be sure to get those donations in, and good luck on the Silent Hill run. Thank you for that. All right, so he's going to use the Challenge Stone again for the third time. Uh, he's going to go to the hotel where you usually do the Kaufman side quest for the good endings. We're not going to do that. Instead, we're just going to uh, use the Channeling Stone for the third time and see the third UFO. That's the way to do it. I turned the light out here because uh, there's, I think there's two rompers. There are two rompers, yes. Which are the, uh, the second numbers. one is... The second one is really far from you. It's never going to re uh, reach you. Yeah, that's the third UFO cutscene. That one. And on the way out too, I don't want to have the light on. Oh yeah, for sure. 
those rampers can meme you beyond your imagination. They are absolutely horrible. Not only in the out of bounds, but they can. You can literally be at a record pace, and a romper can get you at the end of the game. We call it the top of the stairs because it happens at the top of the stairs in the lighthouse uh, section. Hopefully, it will not happen in this run. Uh, if you, I have the feeling that if you go get out of the boat with your lights off, you are less likely to get that meme. But yeah, that can happen. That has happened in a world record run. Shout out to Aaron. <laughs> And, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was horrible. I, I was watching. Uh, but yeah, right now is a pretty straightforward section. He's just gonna make his way to the boats and then to the lighthouse. Uh, but yeah, the, the path between the poles and the, the boats and the lighthouse is very, very problematic. And we are actually in the end of the game. Uh, he's not gonna do anything after the lighthouse. The, the lighthouse is where the game actually ends. The two uh, final UFOs are coming up. So this is pretty straightforward. Not much going on, but I think the the the, the section there, the pier, should I say, after between the boat and the lighthouse, is the true final boss of this of this run. It, it, it is so bad. The frame rate is horrible. There's so many enemies, and you can get the top of the stair meme. But right now, we're gonna see the fourth UFO on the boats. What? That light. Oh man, there are more of them now. Good time to slide one in here. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. The game's going right. to end very soon, though. All right. I'll be ready. We have a $5 donation from Nam saying, Couch, you're doing great. Less than three. Good luck, buddy. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, no top of the stairs. Going pretty good. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a this section just before the lighthouse and it's pretty messy oh, it's going pretty well though oh okay yeah this guy is there normal a lot of the times <laughs> yeah not a good feeling it's okay though it's minor the frame rate, yeah. I, I feel you, it's terrible. That section there is where the frame rate goes to its lowest. It's like 10 FPS, I don't know, it's horrible. And yeah, lighthouse. And now he's gonna alternate between walking and running, but the end of the game is already coming. So the coming up on time. Yeah, right now. When I, when I use the uh, last channeling stone usage here, And my time. All right, GG. That's it. That's the final cutscene. And yeah. And then Harry gets uh, abducted by aliens. You get to hear Harry scream. All right. Congrats, Couch Man, for performing that run. Excellent, excellent run. Yeah. Final good job, man. Final time was a 52.44. Okay, I didn't, oh, go, okay. didn't go over estimate. No, sir. Excellent. I need to see the best cutscene in the game. And the best song as well. <laughs> Incontested. Sorry. Uh, I think uh, I don't have a lot of time. Let me ask you. Oh, okay. Have you seen a little girl uh, because I think you're behind schedule. Short, black hair. We are a little, but if you have anything you like to say, you are welcome to before I get the next one out. All right. Uh, oh no, no, it's just the uh, the credits has a unique song. To it. So I don't yeah, we have to see the IGT as well, right? 
about how long you guys know. Let me get confirmation to see if they're okay with doing that. One oh, minute. It's just a couple of minutes. You can skip though if you if you really don't want to yeah. hear, but. Yeah, I, I can skip it if I if I can't watch the credits. You said it's about a minute. Yeah, it's about a minute. Uh, I'm sure a minute of credits is fine. Oh, uh, okay. This song's good, actually. Yeah, this song's the best song in the game, right? <laughs> Whoever doesn't agree hasn't played this enough. You should run this game, guys. Definitely would recommend. Yeah, it's a fun, it's a fun, run. it's a fun, it's a fun speed run. <laughs> yeah. But, but once once you start to once you start to learn how the movement in this game works, yeah, uh, it feels a lot better. Yeah. It it definitely does feel good, and this is like ninety percent of this run is pure skill, and like ten to five percent is just luck. And you you can get good at it. You can get good even at the out of bounds, which is. Horrible, but it, yeah, it, it can potentially get everything in this game consistent, as consistent it could get. It's a pretty good speed run. It's pretty easy to, pretty easy to learn. All right. Well, I would like to remind everyone, Metal Gear Solid One is coming up. The PC race. Save Meryl is ahead at three hundred and thirty dollars versus Save Otacon at two hundred thirty. That's about a hundred gap. If you would like to see Glenn save his hands and not mash to save Meryl, put those donations in now. We'll need them shortly into the run. Coming up on that IGT. We sure do. Getting really, really close. <laughs> Credits can just roll on when you don't know how long they are. <laughs> Yeah. Alright, and one more time, everyone, for the couch man for the Silent Hill UFO ending run. And to our friend Enderion here for his excellent commentary. Oh, was it good? Thank you. Oh, the IGT was like, oh, I'm not gonna guess. I like to guess, but oh, okay. <laughs> 34 13. Okay, uh, pretty good. Awesome. Alright, I'm gonna swap us on over, guys. You all all can, right. You have a Thank you for having us uh, here. Let me just uh, jump out of here. Okay.